Hey guys, J-Man here for the weekly X-Men Talk. We're going to talk about three books uh, today. Knights of X 1 and 2 because I missed out on that one when it first came out. So we're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about X-Men 92, House of 92. I think that's what that is. Uh, okay, so you know, <laughs> this issue number one of this kind of caught me off guard. I really... Um, I really liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I didn't really understand what was going on. It seemed like it seemed like it it looked like the old cartoon, but it was talking about Krakoa and stuff. So I don't know if this is supposed to be like an alternate universe or something. But I don't care. I like the art. I like the color. I'm close to saying this is my favorite X-Men book that's come out. I don't know, it's a lot of fun. Though in this one, Jubilee keeps reliving her, her life or whatever. I, I didn't know Jubilee could do that. Let me know in the comments if I'm just being dumb and I didn't get and I didn't know that. I do like here, uh, we've got the sort of Pride of X-Men uh, lineup, which is from the X-Men arcade game, which I love. I love that X-Men arcade game, it's just so cool. I used to have it on my phone and then they took it off. That, was really, that really irritated me. Man, that was a great game. Anyway, uh, okay, so yeah. I love the art here, I like the colors, it's really fun. So Jubilee's reliving her li lives here and um, it's just them on Krakoa now. Something's going on. I, you know, I'm not gonna maybe spoil too much of this because I guess it's really a new book, technically. It's not like it's something old like it looks like it's a callback but it's it's got new things in it one thing i really liked though was this isn't a super spoiler but i'll just zoom in friggin gw bridge man I, that's awesome uh i always i always liked bridge i always thought he was a cool character and this was just a cool storyline they were making these like upgraded sentinels kind of and i won't show it to you because it's pretty neat I don't know. I don't know what the public is thinking about this book. I don't really follow too many people on, on Twitter or whatever. Uh, so I don't know. Are people thinking this is just like a for fun series? It's just kind of lame or what? I freaking think it's pretty damn cool. I would just like everyone to just reset to this. I like the costumes. It's the costumes of the X-Men I like. Uh, yeah. It's got this weird kind of like Saved by the Bell look. I don't know, I thought it was really neat. You got this little bio thing at the end with my buddy Bridge there that looks like a Liefeld drawing, which is great. So uh, I really liked this a lot. I thought it was really cool. I'm looking forward to reading this. I'm, I'm close to getting this in physical form and saving these. They're probably not gonna be worth anything, but I, I don't really buy comics to see if they're gonna be worth something. I buy them to read them. Um, I almost wish there was a little bit more disposability. I would never throw away a comic. But I wish it was, they were, you know, like cheaper. And even if they went for like a like one lower quality grade paper, um, it doesn't have to be the newsprint, but I mean, you could probably do something between that that is a little cheaper and, and drop a couple of bucks. Cause I almost feel like every comic I buy, I have to preserve in like a Mylar or something. And I just, I, I, I it just, you know, I don't, I don't like that. It kind of takes away a little bit of the of the reading of the comic that's fun. And I, and I am reading these on an iPad. Uh, I do buy physical comics every week, but um, like this week I got Bad Blood and I got uh, Action Comics, or was that last week? Action, Wonder Woman, that was last week, I think. So a few, uh, I, you know, I do buy maybe like four or five titles in physical form. Most of them I just get as digital. But yeah, I kind of wish that they would be a bit more disposable so I could feel like I could read them, you know, leisurely. I just picked up almost the entire run of Doctor Strange uh, from, num no, I don't have number one, but when it relaunched volume two, not Strange Tales, but um, Doctor Strange. And I almost feel like, I almost feel like I can't read them because you paid so much to get this and you're like, uh. But um, anyway, it is what it is. Um, okay, so before we get to Knights of X, I just wanna quickly ask um, if you guys are enjoying this video, give me a like uh, and uh, please subscribe if you do enjoy my content with the live streams and all that other stuff. My algorithms say that 60% of my viewers are not subscribers. So um, if you can get yourself to, to hit that button, I'd really appreciate it. You know, the mutants, us mutants gotta stick together, man. There's not, there's not too many of us out there. 
All right, let's get into Knights of X. Now, I actually was one of the few people, I think, that thought Excalibur wasn't too bad. And I like Betsy. I don't know. She looks cool to me. I know some people aren't digging this armor or whatever. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. If you like the character or not, that's fine. Um, I just thought the armor looked cool. So I liked it for that. I like Gambit, Rogue. You know, I like Shatterstar, those kinds of characters. So I like that they're in this book. I kind of wish... If I if I told someone the storyline of what this is, it's going to sound really cool until I tell you who is involved in it. And that's where my problem is. I really don't like this thing with Merlin being a bad guy and Arthur being a bad guy. Maybe they were bad guys before. And that's something I don't know. I have not read very many Excalibur comics at all. So if they were bad guys or if they're established villains in the Marvel, you know, 616 comic verse or whatever, let me know in the comments and then maybe that'll soften my my dislike or whatever. But it's just pissing me off because like Merlin is like one of my favorites and King Arthur, I mean Excalibur, the movie Excalibur, John Borman, is freaking one of my top 20 movies of all time. I just watched it this weekend just cause, just to watch it again. So I don't know if I really like that. I do like the idea of what's going on in this comic, especially with issue two, but we're gonna get to that. So issue one, this is basically just Excalibur again. I don't even know why they bothered to rename this. It was just, I don't know. And it's okay, like nice colors. You know, the art's pretty good, the colors are nice. But just like Excalibur, I'm having a really frustrating time, not following the story, but kind of following it and caring what's going on at the same time. I'm like, yeah, I feel like this concept could be done better. And it was just like a, a X Factor as well, where you had this concept and it just, it just wasn't handled very well. I don't think, this is like not as bad as that. It's handled okay, but it could be better. We got Saturnine here who's kicked out of her Citadel and Merlin's taking it over now and he's just a dick or whatever. I don't know. He hates mutants because turns out that Mordred has the X gene and Mordred is obviously the one who's going to kill Arthur or prophesied to, to kill Arthur. So Arthur doesn't like it either. I don't know how you equate one guy having the gene to I must kill everybody. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, so she needs to, so Betsy needs to gather together a bunch of mutants to help her out. That's basically issue one. There's Shogo. <laughs> He's, he reminds me a little bit of Cub from Lone Wolf and Cub, Daigoro. Anyway, issue one was okay. Issue two is, 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 is again, the idea of it is really cool. Execution of it is like, meh. So Merlin is here, he's pissed off at everybody. Um, this, uh, what's this guy, Jasper, what's his name, James, ja Jim Jaspers. He He's pissed off at him now for whatever reason, I don't even get it. Um, the big thing here is, is that Betsy or Captain Britain has to get this Siege Perilous. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, it's like this artifact, like the Holy Grail kind of a thing, right? Um, and it's a, it's a, it's an artifact, it's an Arthurian artifact and she has the quest for it. So I thought, Ooh, quest. I really like where you get a bunch of characters together and they go on an adventure. I freaking hop. I love Hobbit, the book. I love all three movies. I don't care if it's three movies. They could have made it five movies. I love it. Fellowship of the friggin' ring. Hell yeah. Getting together your guys going on an adventure. Awesome. The second they said, we're getting together a team of mutants to go on this quest, I was like, oh shit, here we go. And then nothing happened. And then <laughs> they're meandering around. They go to this village and the, this this tavern or whatever. Like, oh, or the, like, here's food. I'm like, what is this? This is not the quest. Like, I don't understand why they can't get, like, why do they get me excited for this? This happened in X Factor. This happened in Marauders. Marauders, we're going to get a bunch of mutants together and we're going to go around the world to these countries that hate mutants and we're going to rescue mutants that need rescuing. I thought, woohoo, this is a 10 out of 10 concept. Then Marauders was all about Emma Frost and Sebastian Stan, or Shaw Stan, Sebastian Stan, Sebastian Shaw and their political crap and the Hellfire Club. What does this have to do with the Marauders going around rescuing mutants? 
Now, the latest Marauders, with the, the, the restarting of Marauders, Marauders Volume 100 or whatever they're on, that seems to be sort of what they're maybe going back to. So maybe this volume will ultimately be better than the last one. X Factor, we need a team of mutants to investigate mysterious deaths of other mutants. Woohoo! That's a great idea. Then nothing happened. There's no mystery. There was nothing. There was just, there was an attempt at mystery, but it wasn't very good. It's like trial of Magneto. Oh, this is so cool. There's going to be a trial. Then there wasn't a trial. I still liked trial of Magneto anyway, uh, but it, it was not the trial of Magneto. That was, they named that very badly. This too. So we're going on this quest, except we're not going on it. They're meandering around and then they fight these furies or whatever, but this is not the quest. Maybe the next issue they'll go on it and then I'll like it. So I'm not giving up. I'm never, I'm going to read all the X-Men titles. Um, but yeah, there's like fight. There's a, you know, there's some fighting. I'm not really, I'm not really dying over the, the, the mutants in this either. I, I think that we could have got a couple of different people, maybe a couple of more heavy hitters. You know, Richter's okay. I like Shatterstar, but I don't know. Overall to me, uh, this week, well, this week was really Knights of X2 and, and X-Men 92. And I really like X-Men 92. It was a lot of fun. But I don't think any of these books are really reaching the heights that X-Men should be reaching. That's sort of your main thing. I've been going through and reading some of the old New Mutants, like from number one, Chris Claremont. And even, I, I thought, I, when I first read those a long time ago, I thought they were kind of slow, but actually I kind of like them. New Mutants, New Mutants is still pretty good for me. I think maybe that's my favorite X-Men comic right now. Uh, yeah, I think that's my favorite. I do like the New Mutants. Maybe I, I'm a little partial to them in general, just because I've got a little bit of favoritism for those characters. But I still, I think it's a good book. So far, you know, Knights of X, I'm going to read it just to see where it goes. If they go on a quest, the next book is they're, they're armored up, they got their packs, whatever, and they're like, let's go find this thing, then I'm going to be more excited. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, tomorrow night, Sean and I are going to be talking about 90s comics. You know you love 90s comics. You have to join us on the stream. Come in the chat, interact with us. We're going to talk about whatever came out that month in 1990 so uh that's tomorrow at 7 30 p.m eastern and this saturday the phantom zone is back open mic you guys can come in the chat or come in the in the stream with us give us your opinions we're going to talk about ms marvel we're going to talk about she hawk we're going to talk about top gun 2 we're going to talk about kenobi superman and lois all that great stuff the gotham knights trailer We're going to talk about all of it, and we want your opinion as well, so come join us at that time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.